November has been a green month. I'm Nick St. Dennis, editor of USGNN.com. Washington, D.C. was the site of Green Build 2015, where the building industry again came together to share ideas and show what's new in, what else, green building. Also this month, U.S. Glass Magazine announced its 2015 Green Design Awards. We'll get to that shortly. At Greenbuild, the glass industry got plenty of attention. New technologies and developments turned many heads, and we talked to a few attendees about what stood out most with glass. I've really pushed my business in the last seven to or eight years towards innovation. So I've got walls that generate electricity with photovoltaics. I have walls that I can use the electrified systems that are already embedded with my UL approved products to incorporate um, view glass, which is one of the um, exhibitors here that I've, and I'm standing outside their booth, and I'm very interested in integrating their products and other types of energy efficient systems into my walls. Probably there are three, uh, learning about electrochromatic glass, thermochromatic glass, and the solar panel glass, and how they're changing from traditional glazings to something that actually can, you know, reduce your energy load in your apartment or your building. Um, while providing a benefit as well. One of the things that I really like is electrochromic glass. So um, my name is Mike Dietrich and I work with the DC Public School Modernization Program and I've been incorporating sustainability across that entire portfolio. So at Wilson High School at Cardozo, we ended up closing over these interior areas that with glass atriums. At Roosevelt, uh, currently just wrapping up construction, we put electrochromic glass on top. And I'm really excited about the performance that that has, the enhanced performance, the, the decreased HVAC. And also, being in that space when it's dimming, it really has a nice light quality in the overall atrium, which you don't see in the other locations. I like sustainable, affordable housing as well. I think it's this, it'll be really cool to see how we can maximize passive design strategy, but also decrease the cost. So looking at triple pane windows, everything has to be imported currently, but the opportunity for the local U.S. market to start manufacturing triple pane windows here it could really improve our energy efficiency and air tightness for windows and doors, which I think is pretty exciting. So just seeing that technology and starting to have those conversations with vendors so that local glass manufacturers could do the same thing would be a huge step forward for the U.S. One exhibitor that piqued our interest was Pioneer Cladding and Glazing. You may ask, what is a contract glazer doing at Greenbuild? Well, the scope of their work goes well beyond installation. Coleman Jones of Pioneer explained how the company helps contractors, architects, and owners achieve not only a seamless project, but also a green solution. Pioneer is uh, an industry leader in the uh, design, installation, manufacturing um, of curtain wall. And what we do is we combine glass and metal and at the end of the day, what we're trying to do is lower the MEP systems and allow for natural light to come in the building and lower the electrical systems, which uh, contributes to lead points. Uh, we're within 500 miles of here, and all of our stuff is locally sourced for the most part. And uh, so we really help contribute to lead certifications, and probably 90% of our buildings right now are lead certified. Our promotion is to be the, the one-stop shop for curtain wall from the design aspect, where we can uh, contribute with a lot of these manufacturers that are already here the View Dynamic Glass, the Sage Glass, uh, St. Cobain, Old Castle, all these people, we work with all of them. Um, and we're really just trying to combine everything for them and be the one-stop shop for curtain wall from design to manufacturing to installation. By many accounts, the show is a success. Speaking of, how about those Green Design Awards? The first place winner this year was the tower at PNC Plaza in Pittsburgh. Perma Salisa installed the glazing, which was supplied by manufacturer PPG and J.E. Berkowitz. We caught up with the president of J.E. Berkowitz to get some insight on the winning project. Yeah, I mean, this is a tremendous honor. Uh, gives us national recognition. Uh, we've always had an emphasis, both how we operate our company uh, in relation to efficiency and environmental responsibility. It was a collaborative effort. We worked with the glazing contractor, Permis Delisa, and we worked with our long-term glass supplier, PPG, to develop a solution uh, to PNC's um, efforts to build the most green efficient building we believe in um, the world, at least in North America. And some very novel approaches to this, including the use of high performance coatings, the solar bands and sun gates, 
the use of uh, warm edge spacers, stainless steel, and most of all, the creation of a double wall. Uh, that building is a double wall construction, uh, an IG unit, as well as a monolithic laminated uh, panel. J.E. Berkowitz, along with PPG and AGC, was also involved in the second place project, the Sand Ridge Energy Headquarters in Oklahoma City. That was installed by American Glass. Project in Oklahoma City, headquarters for Sand Ridge Energy, they had a significant pr problem with the existing building. The HVA system was undersized and was unable to supply the building necessary air conditioning and heating. They looked at several solutions, including a traditional rip-out reglaze, and they picked our solution, which is Renovate. And Renovate is a, a patented system that we brought into the market about six years ago that permits you to leave the existing glass in the building and build a triple IGU from the inside of the building. The Mountain Equipment Co-op headquarters in Vancouver rounded out the top three winners. Cardinal Glass Industries and C.R. Lawrence U.S. Aluminum supplied the glass, which was installed by Flynn Canada. We'll be catching up with some of the other award-winning companies in the future, so stay tuned. And be sure to check out the November issue of U.S. Glass to read more about these three projects. That'll wrap it up for this month. For USGNN, I'm Nick St. Dennis. We'll see you next time.